All right, folks, so aeroponic farming is a cutting-edge agricultural technique, I'm told, that is revolutionizing the way we grow plants and crops. Innovation officer at Jamaica Tower Farms, John Mark Clayton, is here to tell us about this method. Morning, friend. Welcome to Smile. How are you? Morning, morning, Neville. Cutting-edge and new is the same thing, or it is not new, it's just cutting-edge? Um, cutting-edge, not new. It has been, it's, a, it's been around for a while. Been around no. in Jamaica? No, um, in Jamaica for a while, uh -huh. right? Um, the collaboration with Agrotonomy and Jamaica Tower Farms is what gave it the additional traction, um, separate and apart from who uh, the players in the market Which are. Which is why we're talking about it now. Yes. So it's not new? No, it's not new. Um, and it's widespread or it's, it's just very few people know what to I, do? I think, it's, I think it's widespread, right? In that space, there is, it's still, we still need to bring a certain level of awareness to it. For example, as I say, this collaboration that went viral, having um, Keon and your team calling me. Yeah, it's the first I hear about aeroponic. Yes. Um, and that in itself means what? No what, or no what? what no, aeroponic is um, vertical farming, of course. So you farm up, um, allowing you to have a higher density of um, produce per square meter, right, versus um, horizontally. But you still need what you would do for a regular farming. You need to water the stuff, or you need to... Well, um, water, is, water is there, 90% water is used. Um, there is no soil, um, the roots are suspended, which gives you um, faster on, produce. Stop, 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 stop. Yes. What do you mean by the roots are so suspended? The, root, the roots are suspended, allowing it to be oxygenated and taken in the nutrients at a higher level than if it was in the ground. Well, so, I know. So if the roots are suspended, where the water come in? The water come in, the water come in from um, the reservoir and it trickles and mists down to the roots. Okay. So I can show you an example. Please, don't turn your back. Okay. Well, yeah, can you, you know, show us, but just, we just want to make sure everybody can see what you're doing. So basically, this is the root. That's the root right there. Yes, and the rooting system, so it's right. It's wet right now. Right? Yes. So what you do now? So this would be full of water, or the water just run on it? So the reservoir, the reservoir which is down which here. Which is down here. Yes. The, the, has, the, the basin has, like. Yeah. Exactly. Has water in there. Yeah. Right, and it is connected to a pump, and the pump is intermittent. It's on three minutes and off for 12 minutes, right? It runs up through the... Um, piping system here, yeah. and then it mists down to the um, roots on the crops. Does that suggest, when you talk about the water, that is not all products can be used? Because, you know, some of them don't need plenty of water, some need plenty, plenty of water, some need little water. So all, all products that can be farmed in the vertical farm can be used. And those products would be? Um, leafy, well, what kind of product can be farmed like that? Um, well, of course, root crops root crops such as um, tubers and tubers, okay, etc., okay, okay. like that, okay. because that needs to be ingrown, basically, okay. right? So anything from plants, peppers, right, um, broccolis, etc., can be grown on it. What's the so benefit it, of this as opposed to the regular? I don't know if regular is the word, but the way... The traditional, traditional uh, method of yeah, farming. Traditional. Method regular, of farming, yeah. right? So um, the benefit of this versus the traditional method is the fact that, one, you can have a higher density in the urban area. So basically, this farm is in my backyard. So this don't have to be saying? known in the country right here, with a hundred acre yeah, land yeah. etc right um i'm able to farm on a hundred towers right now as it's done three acres of leafy green a hundred towers and this is what you call a tower yes do they get taller than this or this is the they get taller than this so you have anywhere between 28 to 52 ports and you would decide on that exactly and because all ports modular. can be used at the same time all ports can be used at the same time and they can be um, monocropped or multiple cropped just like you see in right here this did start as a little baby so this started as a little baby like for that. example like this These and how are long did it take to get here to get to this it took um three three weeks to get to this stage right now and that is because of the um dynamics of the innovation that has been used where the roots are suspended and it is oxygenated at a particular level which allows it to take up um the nutrients at a faster pace beautiful you said um that's what we're looking at now well that is something like what we're looking at now yes you said 90 percent water i asked you already about the benefits of using this what when we have drought 
Well, when we have drought, there is no need, there, there is no issues because we use 90% water, less water, right? So oh, I you say it's 90% less, less water. water. Oh, yes, I actually thought you said 90% water. No, 90% less water than okay. the traditional methods because the water is reused and recirculated. No, no I got confused. It, when is the, I thought you said 90% water. Yes, water, yes, water. yes. So, okay, so with a drought, you're good still? Yes, you're good still and you have no issue. So basically, for the life cycle um, of, I, I guess, any leafy green or produce between eight to six weeks, you use actually less than a gallon of water oh, for the life cycle. Yep, you, you also here going around, well, for a long time, organic. Yes. As opposed to the pesticides and stuff. What about this? This, this is 100% um, organic. organic. Of course, you know, you still have aphids, white flies, pests yeah, can but still... You, but, but you don't use pesticides. No. So the, the risk is less. So how you get rid of those things that... Well, you use um, natural methods, for example, while it's being germinated here. I spray them with um, orange peel water with distil soaked in distilled water, orange peel soaked in distilled water, okay. and spray them with that. Where before. did you get the expertise? Uh, um, agronomy. This is not my area of expertise. I'm not a farmer by any means. I'm not articulated in this area. It started from about um, two years ago, from when I was a child, basically, growing up in the urban area um, in Kingston, being able to have um, different levels of animals, multiple fruit trees in my yard and stuff yeah. like that. I guess it was imminent. I'm an engineer by trade, right? Which kind of help with this. Exactly. Right. So I uh, fused the two together two years ago, thinking about it, not having the time to actually, and the land space to do it. And then I was like, okay, cool, let me go with this method because this is fully automated. Yeah. A, a farmer or a potential farmer, a young farmer watching and say, no man, I'm only that. Me rather just dig too old, drop in my little thing and it won't grow just like this. And your response would be? My response would be in the, lo um, in the long run, well, and in the short run too as well, you have a, it is very labor intensive to plant in the ground and I'm not by any means bashing the original method. Um, it is not you don't have to be far away because it's urban. It can be on your rooftop. It can be in your yard. It can be somewhere closer versus um, that the machinery. And there's no expertise, little to no expertise. Where you can get this and give me an idea of what it would cost, that same young farmer who watching this morning. Okay, cool. Well, for example, this is from um, Tower Farms Limited, right? In the US, Agrotonomy, which um, there, there's a partnership there. So we can't get it locally? No, not lo you can get it locally now, but the minimum order is 10 right now at the moment. 10 what? 10 towers. 10, this is one or? Yes, this is one, 10 so, towers. So one, which, two, three, four, five? No, 10. 10 towers, 10 of this. What is a tower? <laughs> a tower is this that the you're looking thing. at. Yes. Yeah, I thought you meant one of these things. No, these are the, these are the model. The, okay. These are modular. All right. Yes. So you need at least 10? Yes, okay. minimum order. All right. And about how much that? Um, well, you're looking at anywhere between seven to 8,000 USD. Mm. But For 10? Yes. So, okay. yes, you're looking at the long, the long term effects of it, yeah. right Neville? For example, I only have one person here with me today, which is um, Kevin, aka Ross, who manages the entire farm, a three acre produce farm by himself. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Versus having tractors, having plowers, having additional laborers, So in the long run, it works out, but exactly. you still need a little upfront change to exactly. get the, 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 Because of the yeah. technology yeah. Um, involved in the whole process, of course. And I'm impressed. I'm impressed. And we'll explain, sir. Thank you very much, yeah, Neville. Man. Respect. All right, there you go. Innovation Officer at Jamaica Tower Farms, John Mark Clayton. Some name someone Richie. should be like John Mark Clayton the third. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you have to send for this. You can't get this locally. No, you can't get it locally at the time. All right. Yeah. There you go. All right. We'll soon come. More and smile when we come back. Stay with us, please. Very interesting.